When traveling internationally, your passport is the most essential item that you'll need. So we want to make sure we keep it protected. So we're going to review some ways to carry your passport safely. First, we have this waist belt. You want to keep your passport as close to you and as convenient to access as possible. So this is actually, this is actually a running belt, but hey, it's doing double duty. This is the only thing that I would put in here. So we want to make sure that you keep it on your body. You can even put it under a jacket or a blouse or something that you have on. This is it. So this is one way to protect your passport. So let's move to another style. So we can go with a small crossbody to protect our passport. This, I would say, also keep as close to your body as possible. Now there are, there's a pocket on this opposite side, but I'm gonna turn it on the side where it doesn't look so obvious. The pocket is on the top. So for this particular one, your passport will still have a dedicated space. That's it. The only thing that's gonna go in this pocket would be the passport and it's underneath the actual bag. So you'll still be able to access it if you needed to get to it quickly, but then it also just won't be so apparent to other people that you have a pocket on there. So that's just one way. And this bag has, that's one pocket. You have your main pouch and then there's an inner pocket and another outside pocket. And this is if you decided to go with something a little bit bigger than that plain uh, running belt. So let's move to another style. If you're out and about or you want to go to a market or something, or if you're going to be gone away from the place where you're staying for a while, we have a mini backpack. At the same time that this backpack can hold other things, you still only want your passport in one location. So this has a front pocket, but there's also, there are like a whole lot of pockets. So this is two, actually three pockets in here, but I'm putting my passport in the pocket that is gonna be the most secure in. So this is one that holds it a little bit tighter. I still would not put anything else on this front part because you want to be able to access your passport as easily as possible. So this is a crossbody backpack. There's also a space here on this one for your phone. So you could put a few other essential items in the backpack. So here's one way that you can wear it. There's also, if you uh, your shoulder gets tired, you can change. There's a clip here where you can pop out and then switch it to the other side so that you can redistribute the weight that's in there. You want to tighten this. I would still say keep it as close as possible. You can take your phone from here so that you can maneuver the bag around to the front so that it's even safer. Let me close this up because you still you don't want nobody looking to see if you have an open pocket maneuvering the bag around to the front. My phone would probably go, not my passport is still the only thing on this side. My phone would probably just go on the inside so I can still access it. But keeping that passport safe and it's the only thing that's gonna be in that pocket because you don't wanna be digging and trying to pull stuff out. This one also has a mesh pocket on the side with some cords to secure a water bottle if you decide to take a water bottle with you. But you just wanna make sure that no matter how you store your passport, you wanna keep it as close to you as possible. And I would say somewhere in your core area of your body because you can protect that a whole lot easier from it either getting stolen or from it falling out and you losing it because that would not be a good thing, especially if you are in another country. So I'm hoping that these travel hacks are helping you to not only travel lighter, but to travel safer. But wait, there's more. Here's a bonus protection for your passport. Make sure that it is current, a year to six months from expiration before you're gonna travel. And global entry, thank me later. Proper hydration is essential every day. So when you travel, you still wanna make sure that you are properly hydrated. Rule of thumb is to drink half your body weight in ounces every day. If your travels take you to warmer climates, humid climates, or even internationally, you want to be mindful to keep your water intake up. One way to do so is to carry a reusable water bottle. If you're going in places and spaces where you're not sure about the water, you can get a filtered reusable bottle to make sure that you are ingesting the cleanest water possible. 
moving around and engaging in activities can have us doing a little bit more than we would usually do, which could cause the body to heat up, which will then cause the body to want to cool down by sweating. Contrary to popular belief, sweat is not fat crying. It's actually your body crying to cool off. It's your heat regulation system. But we're not going to talk about that because we talk about this hydration. We're talking about the water bottle. So regardless of whatever kind of filtered water bottle that you get, be mindful that you follow the instructions because different water bottles have different ways to care for them. And no matter what, cups up. Another hack for traveling lighter is a compact power bank with the attached charger. Just take it, pop it into your phone, and voila.